push, pull, darting, swapping, sliding, skidding, doesn't really matter what you call it, keeping your sled pointed in the direction that you want to go and staying in control is key to enjoying your snowmobiling experience. Due to the nature of snow and its ability to thaw and freeze rapidly means that we ride on an ever-changing terrain each time we snowmobile, making our sport very unique and also requiring the right amount of knowledge and forethought to be prepared for whatever Mother Nature is going to throw at us. Now first, let's address darting and drifting. Drifting is also known as pushing, and these are two of the biggest concerns that you're going to experience when snowmobiling out on the trails. Darting is when your snowmobile gets stuck in the tracks of another snowmobile and either wants to stay locked in those or jump from track to track, making you feel less in control while pushing is when the snowmobile feels as though it were drifting or pushing through a corner and not grabbing the snow and going around that corner. You've likely experienced one or both of these issues and the reasoning is attributed directly to the lack of positive contact with the snow or poor traction. Poor traction not only reduces the performance of your sled, it also reduces the amount of control that you have and control is what keeps us out of the rhubarb. So safety is also a major concern when it comes to traction. When it comes to darting and drifting, reduced traction and control is often the result of a carbide runner that's either worn out or uses too little, and actually in some cases, too much carbide in the wrong places. While you may think that a single carbide runner is the only one available, there is a move to new style runners that incorporates two strips of carbide and virtually eliminates darting and pushing issues across the board. Woody's Slim Jims are the evolution of their original Dooley runner. While still featuring two flat top runners for each ski, the new Slim Jim is actually 31% lighter. Featuring a more aggressive carbide profile, the new Slim Jim virtually eliminates darting, reduces unsprung weight, and adds superb cornering control. Add to this a 10 minute installation, and you can change out your old skags for new ones with ease. Virtually eliminating push and darting, the Slim Jim runners stay out of other sled tracks as they forge their own path through the snow and bite extra hard when cornering. This all adds up to more performance out of your snowmobile and increased rider comfort and confidence. Oh, and new for this season, they're now also available for CNA and all Skidoo Pilot skis. So now that we're pointed where we want to go, we might as well stay on course and talk about studs and their function of acceleration and braking performance. Studying your track represents the other vital component in maximizing traction and control. The trick is achieving the right amount of traction in the front versus the rear. Too many studs in your track can result in drifting or pushing as an excessively studded track can overpower the traction of your carbides, increasing your turning radius. Conversely, too little studs in your track can result in oversteer and the rear of your sled sliding out and feeling loose in turns. A properly balanced sled will optimize your turning control of your snowmobile, along with maximizing acceleration and braking performance, thereby helping you to stop sooner and get better grip in icy or dangerous conditions. The best place to start when looking to optimize your traction and control products is a company like Woody's, who has more than 40 years experience under their belts. Now their website and catalog listings have full directories that not only show what the right product is for your snowmobile, but also the right product for your riding ability. Studying a sled or installing carbides on your own can seem a little daunting if you've never done it before, but fear not. A visit to Woody's website will calm you right down and show you that you can do it if you're reasonably mechanically inclined. And hey, if you're not, that's what your local dealer's for. While well, we typically tend to blame poor handling characteristics on the snowmobile itself, this isn't always the case. In a sport where the conditions can change by the hour, maybe you should pay a little bit closer attention to the traction products on your snowmobile.